Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're looking at the new firmware that's just been released uh, for the um, Asus AX11000 uh, router. Um, as you can see the version is still num uh, 3 but the uh, version number ending it's now changed to 386.41700 it was released on the 18th of January uh, 2021, so only a few days ago, um, and it's coming in at around 65.3 megabytes. Um, so it's not a huge file to download, um, but as you can see, it does have um, some quite good features that people actually probably might need. Um, so as we have a look here, uh, the first one is through the um, AI Mesh 2.0, so there's quite a few things here that are actually going to add some really good um, functionality um, that I might test later on as well. Um, instead of having your AI mesh connected via uh, Wi-Fi, um, so before if you connected by Wi-Fi then one of your 5 gigahertz channels would have been taken away for general use and would be used as the backhaul channel to connect the two uh, routers together. Um, but now you're, you've got the option um, of actually having Ethernet cable. So if you're lucky enough to have Ethernet around your house or you've managed to fit a cable um, around the house, then you can connect them both using Ethernet. So also that means now that you have your two 5 gigahertz channels and your one 2.4 gigahertz channel. So you have all three channels um, of that you're supposed to have in the first place. So as you can see here, so it's one is a AI Mesh 2.0. Um, so it adds system optimization um, and uh, you've got a new topology there. So the order and everything else, you can see it much clearer. And again, here it goes on more detail about the system Ethernet backhaul mode. And uh, it says all nodes will only connect by Ethernet. So all bands will be released for wireless clients. Just like I said before, now you have all three if your wireless channels available again again it goes on to say about the system factory default and reboot uh, client device reconnect uh, make the device uh, to offline and online again and uh, about binding specific um, access points ap and the guest wi-fi on all mesh nodes so all uh, nodes need to upgrade to this new firmware and also access the nodes by USB application as well. So there is there more detail. So it's got an FAQ for the frequently asked questions around the connection via the Ethernet backhaul mode where you can go to. I'll put the links in the description below. Um, you can go to and also about the AI mesh. Um, so you can go to the uh, FAQ for those as well. Number two is the new family interface in the Asus uh, router app. So uh, Asus router app for iOS must be greater than uh, version 1.0.0.5.75 and for Android it's got to be greater than version 1.0.0.5.74. Um, so as long as you've upgraded via the Google Play Store or the App Store on iOS, um, the latest version, you'll see a new interface there. So that hopefully is a bit more user um, friendly um, to you. So that's always good. So thirdly, uh, next one um, that this uh, firmware uh, changes, uh, makes the improvements is the unit of the Wi-Fi time scheduler. It goes to one minute. As we go on to four, um, this one's really good. As you can see here, this is um, gives you an upgrade on the uh, IPSC VPN server that's built into the router. Um, so you can see that it's got version two now, and I believe before it was just version one. So you can actually connect more securely, but also you can use the Windows 10 native VPN client program. And there again, there's the FAQ there on the instructions on how to do that. Uh, it's quite straightforward, uh, so that's another really good improvement. Uh, number five is the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz on the network map can be configured in the same tab now. So we can go into that um, later on and I can show you that. Six, um, so this is the capture for a login can be disabled in system. So that's where you sometimes you'll come up with the um, to confirm that you know you're human and everything else. Uh, seven is the printer server port can be disabled 
on the USB app page now. So that makes it much easier. Number eight is the uh, clients, which connect to the guest network, can also be viewed now in the network map. So that's really good and handy so you can see them straight away. Nine, it fixes the Let's Encrypt not working properly. So again, nine is where you, um, you generate a secure certificate so you can access um, the user interface from um, the internet or when you're outside the home. Uh, so that's always good and that Let's Encrypt um, is one of the easiest ones and uh, gives you like very good security for SSL. 10, and the final one is it adds IPTV support for more regions now. Um, so um, that's always good if you've got IPTV. Um, so that's the rundown of the 10 improvements. Um, we will do uh, another video later on and go through what the difference looks like, but I just wanted to quickly get it out there about the update. Um, there has been a public beta of this, so um, I've seen people um, comments and everything else so and people have upgraded so far and no one said they've had any issues uh, by upgrading this so uh, i think it's quite confirmed it's gone through public testing already so i'd say it's safe to actually download and use but if you are cautious then we like with most new firmwares it might cause a problem there's a small chance so it might be worth waiting another week or two weeks or keeping an eye on the uh, um, forums and things like that to see if any issues come up um, but I'm gonna upgrade and if I have any issues or anything like that then I'll let you know uh, straight away and I'll add it in the comments below okay thanks for watching and I hope you found this a little bit useful um, if you have any questions then leave them in the comments as usual and I'll try and answer